Cisco Umbrella, the intelligent proxy capability, we're going to do SSL decrypt. So as you know, uh, Cisco Umbrella is all about DNS, um, and we have the capability of doing what we call intelligent proxy. And these are for things that, are, that we consider as gray domains. So now we can do additional things like advanced malware inspection, as well as things like SSL decrypt, and uh, do additional inspection. So it's pretty easy to set up. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to our Umbrella instance, we're gonna go to the default policy, we're gonna enable uh, intelligent uh, proxy and the SSL decryption. I'm going to enable the IP layer enforcement. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, but from here, we can download the certificate. Once we have the certificate downloaded, we can then uh, add that to the trusted root CA. So that could be done uh, manually, like I'm doing here on this spe uh, specific asset. Or you could go quickly over to GPO and add it into uh, a GPO and push it out for everyone. Um, and what th this is going to do is not only allow us to do the SSL decrypt function, but it's also going to ensure that the users don't get a message saying it's not trusted. So let's enter that in. Okay, that's good. Uh, so now we have it. We can save that policy out. And before we change the DNS settings itself on the asset, um, because I'm not doing it network wide, um, I'm gonna check to make sure um, that uh, I'm not connected. So you can see I got the red X there, so uh, that didn't work. I go to internetbadguys.com, I can see that that wasn't blocked. Um, and I'll try the uh, proxy uh, test page and I can see the SSL decrypt had failed. Um, so now I'll change the, uh, the DNS settings on my interface. So that'll be a fairly quick uh, change here. And once I add that, now I'll be able to uh, forward all my DNS requests to Cisco Umbrella. So I should experience faster resolution uh, as well as get all of that security capabilities that Cisco Umbrella provides. And of course, that intelligent proxy function for gray domains. So now we can see a quickly test. We got the orange check mark here. So we know that we are uh, safe uh, from that perspective and it's working. We went to internetbadguys.com. We've got the block page. Great. Now we'll check, test the intelligent proxy and we can see that that's working as well. Um, so let's test a, a blocked URL. We can see it's HTTPS and we're able to block that as well as um, let's just uh, do another test here and we can see that we're able to block an image here. And again, it's HTTPS, right? Um, so SSL uh, decrypt or TLS, right? Uh, and that's it. It's pretty easy uh, to do. A um, couple clicks and you're done.